Hi, this is Bentley with another quick video tip from H&H Color Lab. In today's video tip, I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Bridge and Adobe Image Processor within Adobe Photoshop CS4 to quickly batch resize a group of images uh, for web publication. We're now looking at a folder of images in Adobe Bridge, and these are images that we want to be able to put online. We are looking at the full res versions of these images, and to put them online we want to size these down to a more appropriate size for web publication. To start, let's select all of the images in that folder, and you can do that quickly by pressing Control or Command A. Once those images are selected that you want to resize, in Adobe Bridge come up to Tools, Photoshop, and then Image Processor. If Photoshop's not already running, doing those selections will launch Photoshop for you. Inside of Photoshop, the Image Processor dialog will open and we'll see in here uh, to start with step one is to select the images to process and it's going to process the files from Adobe Bridge. Section two says where do we want to save these files and we can save them in the same location or we can actually browse to a specific folder. In this case, I'm going to choose in the same location, and it's going to create a subfolder based on the file types that we choose in section 3, so we don't have to worry about overwriting our original files. Since I'm going to web, I'm going to choose to save these as a JPEG. I'm going to bump my quality down just a little bit so that they post at a quicker, they'll load up a little bit faster and compress just a little bit quicker so people can view them easier. I'm going to resize these, and the resizing is going to be based on where I'm publishing them and what sizes are appropriate. This is an area that you might need to do a little bit of testing on. For my purposes, I'm going to resize them for 550 pixels on the long dimension. I'm going to set the width and height equal so that my horizontal images are the same size as my vertical, so everything is, is very similar going through. Since I'm going online, I'm going to specify Convert Profile to sRGB to make sure my images look the best. Some web browsers support other color profiles, but not all of them do, so going to sRGB is the safest bet. Now if I've set up an action to place a watermark on images, I can choose this action down here to place the logo on there. In this example, I'm not going to do that. Now that everything is set, I'm just going to press Run and those images will quickly open up, resize down, and save into the specified folder that we set up. Once those images are done, we'll jump back into Adobe Bridge. We'll see that there's a new JPEG folder that's been created. There's the duplicates of all of our files, and if we turn our image attributes on, we'll see they've all been sized down to a pixel dimension on the long side of 550 pixels for the verticals and for the horizontals.